Discover how to use breakout rooms in Zoom. We'll use these three steps to configure and open our breakout rooms. Number one, locate the breakout rooms feature. Look for the breakout rooms feature on the center right of the menu located at the bottom of the Zoom window window here. Once you have clicked on it, another window will appear that will allow you to create the rooms. Let's learn more about how to do that now. Number two, creating the breakout rooms. At the top of the new window, in the middle of the sentence saying create breakout rooms, you will see a box with a number here. Using the small up and down arrows on the right side of the box with a number, adjust the number of rooms you would like to create. Alternatively, you can select the number box with your mouse and enter the number of rooms desired with your keyboard. Underneath, you will see these three options that apply to the participants. Assign automatically, assign manually, let participants choose room. If you want to learn how to use the second option and assign manually, please watch our follow-up video by clicking on the link in the description below. The first option, Assign Automatically, is the easiest to use and is automatically pre-selected. This means Zoom will automatically distribute your participants into the desired number of rooms as evenly as possible. Depending on the number of rooms entered and how many participants are in your meeting, Zoom will tell you how many participants per room there will be here. If you would like your attendees to be able to choose and move between rooms freely, select the last option, Let Participants Choose Room. Once you have made your selection, simply click Create here. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more straightforward tech tutorials. Number 3. Configuring the breakout rooms and time limits. Another window will replace the previous one, allowing you to change the name of the rooms and adjust the duration of these breakout rooms. To do this, click on options located here. A smaller pop-up window will appear with the same self-explanatory options. From the first three options, select the ones you would like to apply to the participants. For example, select the first option, Allow participants to choose room if you would like your attendees to have a choice whether they enter a breakout room or not. Select Allow participants to return to the main session at any time if you want to allow them to leave the breakout room and return to the main meeting area at any point. And select Automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms to remove giving your participants the choice of entering a breakout room or not. The next option will now let you set the duration of the breakout rooms. Once again, you will see a small box with a number here. Select the box with your mouse and enter the number of minutes you would like the breakout rooms to last. If you would like to be notified when the time is up, be sure to select the sub option just below it here. The final option allows you and your participants to see a countdown timer. This is to show how much time is left until the breakout rooms are closed and everyone is automatically returned to the main meeting session. Using your mouse, you can click on the number and choose from a list of predetermined number of seconds for the countdown timer here. Congratulations! You are now ready to open all rooms by clicking here. That was easier than it looked, wasn't it? Please like this tutorial to help others discover it. And don't forget to subscribe to easily find more of our simple to follow video tutorials. You can own a Burn to Learn Stylish Techie t-shirt. Get yours now by clicking the link in the description. Do you have something you want to learn? Let us know what it is with a comment in the section below. This has been Rod from Burn to Learn. Thanks for watching.